even when I'm going out on a limb up here, because the truth is, I'm just standing up here, hoping I don't fall down up here, or make myself look like a clown up here. Now I'm trying to find a word that rhymes with clown. Oh, gee, wait. What happens if my poem doesn't always rhyme? But seriously, you all know what happens when you step out of the, of the comfort zone. The magic happens. And somebody just handed me the microphone. So sit right back and you'll hear a tale. No, a poem. Um, some words, well, maybe just my thoughts. Anyways, you'll hear something that sometimes maybe rhymes. But nonetheless, sit right back and you'll hear some words that I hope, maybe, will somewhat be worth your time. I do a little podcast called EdTech Confessions, and on it we talk about our latest obsessions. Now, we're not just talking about our digital possessions. Rather, we talk about things that make lasting impressions. And I'm not standing up here trying to get you to click subscribe. Rather, I want to take a moment and let you inside my brain. Inside my brain and inside my heart, from the zings and the dings, to my decision fatigue, from the Google suite to those iOS apps, and to life and to learning. And y'all, can I get some book snaps? I can say y'all, I grew up in Texas. <laughs> Friends, here's my true ed tech confession, and I want you to hear me when I say that it's true, because it's real for me, and I'm pretty sure it's real for you. It's okay not to know all of the things. It's okay not to have all of the answers, because I am who I am, and you are who you are, and as unique individuals, who we all are simply just matters. We all start in square one, and then we take a few steps forward and backwards and backwards then forward and this growing isn't always easy to do it wasn't for me maybe it's easier for you in 2010 my school went one to one we powered on and said hello ipod touch no camera no microphone that didn't stop us we laughed and we tried and soon everything changed but in really in truth it just got rearranged in 2012, I got my first Apple TV. I called IT, IT, and I said, what the heck is this? Please come. Seriously, come help me. Proof, y'all, this is proof we all start in square one. It might sometimes be scary, but let's remember, learning adventures should always be fun. Growing and learning and learning and sharing my why has always been to celebrate voice. So even with my first graders, I let them have choice. This way or that way, standing or sitting, it didn't matter at all because all learning is winning. In, 2015, in 2014, I left the classroom and I became a TOSA. I loved helping others, y'all. It was a blast. Coaching is a hustle. The pace, crazy fast. In 2015, I became, I became Apple Distinguished. 2015, y'all, no rhyme is needed. No need to be clever. All I need to say is 2015, y'all, best class ever. 2013. No, 2015. <laughs> From teacher to Tosa with transformative change, I learned and I shared and I joined the exchange. Ideas, examples, thoughts, best practices to, best practices too. Twitter changed everything for me, I'm pretty sure even how I met you. After 17 years of working in the same place, I took a leap and I left and I found a new home. But the truth is I'm still learning and I'm just getting in the zone. There's lots to learn yet and tons of pathways to roam. But here's one more confession. To this day, I still struggle, especially with sheets. You know, spreadsheets. They just aren't my thing, but give me an iPad and watch my brain zing. Wait, did I just make up a poem about growth mindset? Because y'all, I am still learning and I ain't done yet. But here's the truth and it really is true. I'm simply just sharing, so please listen, because I'm speaking to you. Hashtag, better together. Do you believe this is true? Do you claim it and live it? I totally do, because Together we can, together we are. If you want to go fast, go solo, but together we can go far. That's the magic, are you ready? It's me and it's you. Better together, always, who I am, who are you. Everything we do, everyone matters, every voice does too. So please keep on sharing and please share what you can because I'm still learning, I need your help, and I'm your biggest fan. I lied. Oh friends, I'm so sorry. I have just one more confession. I need just one more moment to share this next line. 
It's true, I know my poem barely rhymes. And I've known that this day was coming, yet I struggled to find time to make all the words rhyme. But I told myself I'd be fine because I tried something new. And it wasn't easy, but I knew I could too. I knew I could try it and give it a shot. Dang, y'all, I'm so sweaty now. Texas is hot. Thanks for listening as I let my brain zing. Is it now time for karaoke? Because I'm ready to sing. That's it, I'm done. I've bared my soul, I've made my confession. But now it's time for one lasting impression. Thank you for listening, dear friends. Thank you for all that you do. This time, this week, this LearnFest ATX, may it be the, be the best yet. And this slam was hard fun, y'all, like a mental pressure cooker. And now my last line is simply, thank you, Carl Hooker. Woo!